Hello and welcome back to another technology guru video. So in today's video, it's going to be an in-depth video showing you how to set up your first Google AdWords campaign. So this isn't going to be like some quick get rich quick scheme. This is going to be one of those videos that is going to show you from start to finish how to start a Google AdWords campaign and start running ads on Google for your product, for your website, whatever you're wanting to drive traffic to. So let's go ahead and start out by basically talking about getting signed up and doing all of that good stuff. First, obviously you need to have a Google account uh, via Gmail or some type of Google account. And then once you've logged into your Google account, it's very easy to, to just Google you know, Google AdWords, uh, but you can go to, uh, you know, AdWords.com and, and do it that way. It's, you know, AdWords.Google.com, and that'll take you over where you can sign up to, uh, to have an AdWords account. But if you have a Google account, it works all in the same. So once you've done that, you're going to see a blank screen. You're going to see basically the name of your account like you can see up here. You're going to see a customer ID like you can see right below here. And you're not going to have anything under campaigns or anything like that. So in order to create and start a new campaign, you need to go ahead and, uh, you know, right here where it says campaigns, click campaign, and then you're going to see a blue addition symbol. This is going to allow you to start a new campaign. So if we go here, here, click on new campaign this is where the magic begins to happen now in order to understand what we're going to be doing and accomplishing in this video we've got to understand what a campaign is now a campaign is not an ad itself you're going to have possibly multiple ads within one campaign a campaign is like a, a group of of something that you, you know, basically think of it as a campaign like in a video game or a campaign like an adventure. Like it's going to be a group of stuff together. So it's going to be a group of ads, a group of keywords, uh, a group of different ways that you can possibly drive traffic to your site, to your service. So when you create a new campaign, you're going to see this option come available here. You're going to see search network. You're going to see display network. You're going to see Google shopping. You're going to see video and you're going to see universal app now normally what you're going to want to start with just if you're a beginner in this will be search network but just a brief rundown of these display network will be like a conglomerative of like Google affiliated sites Google shopping will be like if you search for a product and go to Google shopping normally you've got to be already implemented into the Google shopping realm in order for this to work for you so I might can cover that in another video if that's what you want and then video is pretty obvious it'll be an ad run on top of a YouTube video or a, a Google affiliated video and then a universal app will be like Android thing like you know Google's network of installed apps now I highly recommend you start with search network that's probably what most of you are here for in this video so go ahead and click on search network now next it's going to say what type of goal do you want to set for this this lets AdWords know a little bit more about what you're trying to accomplish with your ad you're gonna see sales you're gonna see leads and you're going to see website traffic now sales is pretty obvious that's what I normally do for like your Shopify site or for something you're trying to sell products that's what you want to do products or services leads will be if you want to get people for say uh, your services it like say for me if I want to train someone on how to use YouTube or get started on YouTube I may want leads to do that basically that's going to be uh, the ability to increase your potential customer base and then lastly will be website traffic if you're running like AdSense on your site and you just want to get people to your site you can do it this way now I'm gonna go and select the sales option here because that's probably what most of you are going to be wanting to do but if you do want leads or website traffic the remainder of this tutorial will work just fine for you as well so once you've selected your goal you then want to go uh, to the setup details so you want to select ways you'd like to reach your goal do you want to get website visits do you want to get phone calls again that may be your goal or do you want to get app downloads or are you an app developer wanting to do that normally you probably want to do the website visits right here now your business's website now this is where you're going to be typing in your website so this is going to be the generic URL so for me this might be uh, www I'm sorry www.youtubecreatorshub.com this is the website where you're going to be driving traffic towards this is going to be your URL for your Shopify site now if you want to break it down to specific categories or specific products on a site we'll do that later don't worry about that this is just the general URL for your website once you've typed in the URL click the blue continue button there and this is where we start 
naming the campaign and going from here. So go ahead and name your campaign. I like to name it based after a product. So if you want to do like say product, uh, you know, type A, you can do that just like that. And then as we have already selected, it's going to be under a search network. Now include Google search partners. I normally leave that checked again, see how your ad is performing and then maybe go and tweak this later. But basically if you hover over the question mark, it'll show you and tell you exactly what that means. Now, uh, ad display network. I normally don't do this in the beginning because I, I want it to run specifically and solely on Google search. So when someone goes to google.com, they search for this product or service, my ad's going to appear. I, I just basically leave it on search network. If you want to dig deeper, get into the weeds per se, you can add display network and even break it down to specific sites. But for the purposes of this video, leave this one checked and leave this one unchecked. Now select target locations. Now, if you are a entrepreneur or a business that only ships or provides services to specific countries, like for me, we're only shipping to the US, just select the United States. If you do United States and Canada, select that. You can even break it down to uh, enter in specific locations down here and go to advanced search and actually search for different locations on the map and choose which countries you want to uh, display your ad to. Now again, if you're in the United States, I would keep it to United States right now until you kind of get your fill and then you can go beyond that. So I'm going to leave this to United States, but you can break it down what locations you want to display your ad to there. This one's really important. If the uh, website you're sending people to is only in English, you need to keep this in English. If it's in Spanish and English, add Spanish. Again, this is going to be the people you're going to be advertising to. So you need to be thinking about your target audience and avatar before you even start this process. All right, here we go. Next, we're going to be talking about bidding. This is very important. The way Google AdWords works is that it's basically like a bidding war. You are bidding your max bid will basically, you know, how much you're going to, to pay per ad is going to depend on how much other people are willing to pay for that specific keyword or key phrase. So select your bid strategy. Now, maximize conversions. This will basically set bids to help you get the most conversions within your budget. Now, you can select these right here like enhanced CPC, uh, target search page, maximize clicks. Normally, I leave it to maximize conversions. I have found this to be the best bet for me. You could maximize clicks, but I've tried that one, and really, you're going to get a lot of clicks, but they're not valuable clicks. You got to think about this. You're paying real money for these ads. What you want people to do is to what? You want them to convert when they get to your website. So with that being said, you want to maximize conversions. That's again, my opinion. You can play around with these and see which one works best for you. Again, this is just like a smart way that Google does it and kind of formats your ads. Now, here's your budget. Enter the average amount you want to spend each day. All of this can be tweaked later on. I tweak mine on a daily basis. Now, I normally would say for you guys, if you're just starting out, start at a small budget a small enough budget to where it's not going to hurt your business, but large enough to where you're going to get a good sample size of how the ad is performing. Normally, $10 is a pretty good metric. Again, you need to see how much your keywords are selling for, and then you can adjust that from there. Uh, so again, I normally would set my budget to 10 bucks and then leave it at that. Now, the delivery method drop down, I normally choose as standard because if you choose accelerated, it's just gonna throw all of your ads out and vomit them out in the morning, and then you'll be done and blow your budget by midday. And a lot of people may be shopping for your products or services midday or late at night. So you don't want it to, uh, to do it too fast. You want it to kind of space it out. Here we go. Next, you're going to see this here that says make your ad stand out. So this is where you can kind of improve uh, what your ad looks like. So what are site links, call outs and calls? Now site links uh, give your ad a little more pizzazz. It allows you to have four little mini links below your ad to have people click on the about us section or the get a quote section. Again, this is going to be a very dependent on the type of service or product that you yourself or your company are providing. Uh, next, you're going to see call outs. Basically, this allows you to add some extra text uh, and then calls is pretty obvious allows you to add your phone number I normally choose the uh, call outs as well as the uh, calls option it makes a very large ad and it makes it stand out site links you can do that as well again you're going to want to create multiple ads and test them to see what works best for your product or for your service and then once you're done with all of this, click the blue save and continue button at the bottom of the page. The next thing you're going to uh, be presented with is your ad group. Now, this is going to be, you can have multiple ad groups within a specific campaign. So the campaign is like the mothership. 
The ad groups is kind of like the, the children, and then the ads and keywords are even below that. So under ad group name, you want to give this ad group a name. So go ahead and name it, say, you know, again, product uh, A1 or whatever you want to call it. Again, you can name this ad group, whatever uh, signifies it best for you. Uh, this is where you start typing in all of your keywords. Go mad here. I would use the Google uh, AdWords keyword tool. Uh, I've got a video on that if you want to check that out on YouTube as well. But basically, any keyword that you think is going to drive traffic to that product or service that will make people, again, convert and make the sale or purchase your service, type in the keyword here. So for me, it may be a uh, YouTube service service or it may be YouTube training for me. Again, this is catered to my niche. Uh, let's see, YouTube consulting may be something I want to put here. And right below uh, the uh, keyword ideas over here where it says get keyword ideas, I could actually go ahead and type in a specific keyword or key phrase right here. And this will allow Google to utilize their inbuilt tool to suggest keywords for me. So let's just say we've got a, uh, let's see, a bracelet that we want to sell. Uh, if we do that, type in the keyword there. We're going to see that Google then provides us with, uh-oh, here's some keywords that you may want to use for your specific product or service. Again, if you want to create multiple ad groups, you can do that again by creating ad group number two by clicking the blue addition symbol here. Same thing implies, you know, applies here. Create the ad group, type in keywords, and go from there. If you want to delete an ad group, go ahead and click the X box there at the top right corner and you are done. Next, we're going to go ahead again. I would spend some time here. Again, this is a video tutorial. I'm not spending time here because I want you guys to understand what we're doing as a whole, not specifically in this section. So set up your ad groups and keywords here and then save and continue to move forward in the process. This is where you're going to be creating your actual ads. So once you've set up your campaign settings, your ad and ad groups and keywords, you then move on to ads. So go ahead and click the blue edition symbol here that says new ad. Once we're under the new ad section, this is where the magic begins to happen. Now, the final URL, this is extremely important. If you are advertising a specific product on your site and you have multiple products on your site that are not related to this ad, make sure you're sending the people to that category. Don't start sending them to your actual URL to your homepage. You want to dig deeper and get them exactly where they want to go because they're just going to hit that back button, click on another ad where someone has done that. So make sure you're the final URL is actually going to the exact product or service you're trying to advertise. So for me, it may be uh, www.youtubecreatorshub.com slash consulting. Okay, that may be where I want to send them to. And as you can see here below, it's it's going to mask that. It's going to show your URL. URL, but it will send them when they click to this exact URL. Now, headline one, you're only going to have 30 characters for headline one and two, but this is where basically you're going to get people to click or not. This text is what's going to draw people in. So you need to type something here that will make people click you know, here now. Again, this is where you're going to see whenever you search for something something on Google, this text you see on line one and the text that you see on line two should be click magic, okay? All of this should be very clickable stuff. You want this to drive people to click on your ad. That's the whole purpose of it. That's why we're doing this thing. Uh, display path two, basically the path fields um, are going to be part of your display URL, uh, but they can send people to multiple areas on your website. Again, I, I wouldn't play with this in the beginning, but if you want to, you can choose a path one and a path two uh, to send people to that as well. Now, your description is going to be below. This is where you put like free shipping. Um, you might put here a uh, huge blowout sale, you know, something that again is going to add a little bit of enticingness to your ad that will get people to click. So again, do that under description there. If you uh, break out the ad URL options here, this is a little more uh, deeper than kind of what we're going to go through in today's video. But basically, this allows you to add different URL options that you can track later on and see which ones are performing better than others. That way, you can kind of adjust it going forward and you're not paying for something that you don't want to pay for. Uh, once you're done with all this, once you've created your ads uh, and you're done here, if we click done on that, we can actually see our ad here. We can delete that ad by clicking the trash can. We can copy that ad template if we want to use it for another ad. Again, very simple to to manage here. And if we want to create a new ad, go ahead and click here, click new ad, and you're on your way to creating a new 
and improved ad. Click the save and continue button once you have uh, moved past the ads creation phase there. And then next you're going to see the congratulation page that says your campaign is ready to roll. This here is a synopsis of your campaign. It's going to show you the uh, basically the runtime for your campaign. You can set it to run for a week. You can set it to have no end date. You can always go back and change that. It's going to show the location. It's going to show the language. It's going to show your budget per day. It's going to show your goal for your campaign and it's going to show your bid strategy. Once all of this looks good to you, you then want to go hit the blue button that says continue to campaign. Once we have done this here, we're going to see a few different options. Once you're within your campaign, you are then going to see the beauty that is the AdWords UI, which they've improved it over the years to be much, much better. Uh, under here, under uh, product A, if we click on that, it's going to show us all of our keywords, how they are performing, how many clicks they're getting, how many impressions they're getting, all of that good stuff. If we go back to overview here, we're going to be able to see how many clicks we've gotten on a specific day, how many impressions we've gotten, and how much cost or how much money we're spending per click. That's a wonderful thing to know. And then down below, we're going to see how specific keywords are performing and how all of our ads are performing so we can go and tweak and change and delete ads that way. So that's basically a rundown of the Google AdWords campaign. This is a pretty in-depth tutorial, so go back, rewind to a part to where maybe you need to go back to. Uh, again, remember your key goal here is to capture uh, the attention of the buyer first, get them to click, and then once they're there, have a website, a product, or service that's going to entice them to purchase or to buy or to be a part of your email list or whatever the goal that you're trying to reach. So, you got any questions? Put those in the comment section down below. If you want more detailed technology tutorials just like this, subscribe to the channel, click that subscribe button, hit that bell icon so you get notified every time I release a new video. And until next time, guys, talk to you later. Thank <laughs> you.